come to stage right now and make it loud for E. One. Ooh, that peanut. Yeah. Uh, new joke. Woo. Yeah, you know, you see uh, Argentina, right? They had like, these crazy riots for the last couple days, you know? Or a couple days ago. Like overturning police cars and shit and fucking uh, they're shooting water cannons and shit. It's all from, uh, you know, I was like, oh, is this from like Palestine or something? But no, it's just from economic reform and shit. Yeah, apparently Argentina's like going through some crazy fucking death spiral or something, like 300% inflation, like year over year. And so this new president's trying to uh, change things or whatever, and then they're all like, ah, oh, fuck that. It's a huge riot, right? And I was like, man, you know, uh, Yvonne, you know, aren't you a finance, whatever, from Harvard? Like, uh, I think your country needs you, right? I'll try. Yeah, I think you should like book a flight to Buenos Aires like <laughs> right now, you know? I'll probably kill him. <laughs> Tell you, you could be there and be like, you know, use all your skills you learned in America, you know? Be like, oh, I got the perfect idea, right? Stand up comedy, you know what I mean? <laughs> be like, open up clubs all over, in every corner, right? Charge everyone, do uh, whatever, open lights, right? Five minutes, five million pesos. Like, oh, wait a minute, six million now. Oh, wait, now it's seven million. <laughs> Yeah, that was, uh, yeah, you know, I go home pretty late after doing a uh, night of comedy, you know, and I'll drink and stuff, and then me and my dog, we go on these, like, drunken adventures throughout the neighborhood and shit, right? And the next morning, I'll wake up, like, where'd this newspaper come from? And whose dog is that? And, you know, North Korea sent over 200 balloons uh, a couple weeks ago to South Korea. They were loaded with, like, garbage and excrement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that statement's not exactly accurate, though. Because they weren't filled with shitty trash. No, they are packed with Dane Cook's jokes. <laughs> In retaliation to that, uh, South Korea set up these loudspeakers, and they're like blasting like anti-communist propaganda and uh, K-pop, you know, over to the north. In retaliation to that, North Korea is setting up their own loudspeakers, you know. But in North Korea, they don't have bands like BTS and stuff, right? So they just blast the most annoying sounds they could think of. Yeah, you guessed it. Matt Rice comedy special. <laughs> It has a new disorder going around called Usher Syndrome. Yeah, it makes you go blind and deaf. It's pretty serious, right? You know, I always thought when you got Usher Syndrome, it just made you go, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I was eating pizza the other day. But, I mean, eating pizza by yourself is kind of depressing, right? Yeah, it's like eating cake or getting drunk by yourself. Basically, my last birthday. Yeah, you know, uh, this past Cinco de Mayo, oh, I had a good old time. And I got super drunk. And I was like, oh, it's Cinco de Mayo today? Mm -hmm. my dog. Yeah. yeah, you know, it's hard taking a piss, you know, when you have a hard on. Yeah, if you're outside, it doesn't really matter. But when you're aiming at a target as small as a toilet, it's like playing ski ball with your dick. Yeah, my dog, she's real cute, you know. She's so cute when other dogs see her, they go, oh my gosh, that dog is so cute. And then they go, oh my gosh, I can talk. Mm. And I was driving around the other day and I got pulled over by a horse cop. Yeah, it was crazy, you know, I didn't even know it was behind me. And I just heard this, woo, woo. It wasn't a siren making that sound either, it was a horse. Yeah, one of my buddies, he's a Muslim, right? So he doesn't eat pork, you know. He's always trying to pork shame me and stuff. He's always like, oh, gross, you eat bacon and sausage? I'm like, man, I'm Korean, right? We eat dog, right? <laughs> yeah, you know, scientists, for the first hot time uh, this past year, they documented two male humpback whales having sex. Yeah, Hollywood's already going to make a movie about it. Yeah, they're going to call it Humpback Mountain. <laughs> yeah, it's weird how language changes over time, right? Like, nowadays, if a guy came up to me and told me he was going to blow my brains out, I want to be sure whether to run away or pull my pants down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was the uh, United States Army 1st Cavalry Division, Fort Hood. Yeah. Yeah, I was yeah, weird being the only Asian person, though. And, you know, every day, people just look at me like, are we supposed to shoot this guy? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll tell you guys a story. Uh, the story when I first saw my real, real-life cowboys, right? If you've never seen real-life cowboys before, they're, they're pretty impressive, right? One time I was driving through Nebraska, and I got off the freeway, right, just so I could look around a little. And then right when I did that, though, I was like, oh, damn, this is a huge mistake, right? Because right in front of me was like 50 cows, you know? They're all just shoulder to shoulder, just like a wall of cows coming at me, right? 
So I stopped my car, I'm like, oh fuck, what am I supposed to do now, right? I'm like, should I back up or something? But then, right then, they start partying, right? And then I can see why, it's these two cowboys, right? They're riding up on horses, and they're like, yeah, 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 right? And they're making the horse, the cows part, right? They're doing that for me, right? And so I'm, I drive through them, you know? And I'm looking at these guys, I'm like, man, these guys are fucking impressive, right? They're like six foot four, like 250 pounds, right? One of them's made like 35, the other was like 25. They both have cowboy hats and jean jackets the jeans and they both have pistols, right? You know, I've been in the army before, right? So, you know, I, I've seen some tough motherfuckers, but these guys are fucking tough as nails, you know? I was just looking at them like, man, man, they're fucking impressive, you know? And then I jerked off and went on, right? <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, my parents, uh, they own a carpet cleaning company in LA. And so, uh, after I got out of the army, I worked for them and stuff. And uh, we had a lot of work in West Hollywood, right? Because the other carpet cleaning companies, they really didn't want to go out there and stuff. But we're an immigrant company, so money's money, you know, shit, we'll do whatever. So I go to this job, and uh, I, I go to this guy's house. And the way we clean carpet is we'll go to the end of the house first, right? And we just kind of work our way out backwards. So we're not stepping on stuff that we already cleaned. Anyway, I follow this guy down this long hallway loaded with these little framed pictures, right? And I go to this room, there's nothing in the room except the bed. But on the wall, there's this giant life-size poster of a naked guy, right? And he's sitting like this, like, ah, right? And on the other wall, there's another life-size poster with two naked guys, right? And one of them's holding the other's dick, right? They're both like, eh, right? Anyway, I'm just like, all right, whatever, here. nothing to see here, right? Don't ask, don't tell, you know? So I'm just cleaning, and I hit something under the bed, right? It starts making noise. I'm like, what the hell is that? It's like, whoa. You know, I saw something that I can only describe as a beeping, blinking, twisting, transformer dildo snake, right? It's like a flashing, it's like, blue, blue, blue. And like, I didn't know how to turn it off and shit, right? Like, it's all greasy and shit. I'm like, ah! Finally, I turned it off, I threw it under the bench, you know? I'm like, fuck! And I was trying to get out of there, right? I'm like, fuck, I'm just trying to get out of there. And I'm in the hallway, and I look at the pictures, and those pictures were of other carpet cleaners with their dicks hanging out. I was like, oh no! And then I hear this, uh um, and I turn around, and it's the guy, you know? And he's got a camera in one hand and a hundred dollar bill in the other. And yeah, I'm not gay or anything, but money's money, so hell. Mm. Uh, tell us more tricks. Yeah, you know, the NFL is a one Asian player. He's a kicker. Could you not find a more racist position for this guy? Was he going to go up barefoot in a karate uniform? Yeah, I was watching this Bigfoot show the other day. It struck me as how devoted these Bigfoot hunters were, you know? Yeah, they're so dedicated to something that might not even be real. Like comedians in their careers. Yeah, I was watching the Oscars this past season. Towards the end, I was getting excited, right? I was like, hey, look, they're bringing back the mummy. But then I saw again, I was like, oh no, that's just Al Pacino. <laughs> yeah, I was talking to this guy the other day. He told me he's Persian. I was like, you're Persian? From Persia? He was like, yeah, where are you from? I was like, uh, the Han Dynasty, I guess? <laughs> yeah, I got a real bad haircut, you know, a couple months back. Oh, it was real bad, you know. You ever have a haircut so bad that people start treating you differently? Yeah, you know your shit. They're like, it's got myself a learning disability or something, you know? Yeah, you know your shit's fucked up when uh, the waitress at Danny's tying a bib around your neck. <laughs> yeah, it's past a couple months ago, O.J. Simpson died. It's pretty crazy, right? It was even more crazy the way he crashed the internet. Yeah, basically, the second he died, half of America got online and was like, who the fuck is O.J. Simpson? <laughs> yeah, it's past April 4th. It's a new national holiday. It's now National Burrito Day. It's pretty cool, right? Oh, it's pretty cool. You know, I love burritos. And the very next day, April 5th, is now National Toilet Plumbing Day. <laughs> okay, that's it. Yeah, you know, uh, did you guys remember that bridge that crashed into the, uh, the boat that crashed into the bridge a couple weeks back? Yeah, it crashed into the Francis Scott Key Bridge. Kind of ironic, right? Like, oh, say, can you see? There's a giant fucking boat coming! Yeah, it said the boat came from Singapore. I was like, ah, crap. Asian driver, you know? <laughs> yeah, the news, they said the boat weighed 200 million pounds. That's pretty damn heavy, right? It was actually even heavier before. It was actually 300 million pounds. But my ex-wife, she got off the boat right before it crashed. <laughs> Um, with this last joke. You know, comedians will always tell you two things, right? They always tell you when they just get booked on a show, and they always tell you when they just had sex. That's a bit juvenile, right? Like myself, I've been booked on a show in over a month. 
But I did get late last week, so whoa. Yeah. Right, my name's Iwanu, I'm out here. Yeah, keep it going for Iwanu. He got late. Yeah. 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 Yeah.